everybody. Today we're making sous vide egg bites, perfect for protein sparing modified fast. I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com where I share keto and carnivore recipes and other cooking ideas. If you're new here, please check out some of my other videos and consider becoming a subscriber. Welcome back to all the regular viewers. Okay, so I'm going to make some sous vide egg bites. They are protein sparing, so we're going to use egg whites. I made some the other day in these little tiny jars but I found that I need two for a meal. This is way too small. Um, the macros are excellent and I will share them below. Uh, so today I'm going to make them in here. Um, so this for me would be something I could take to work and, and feel like I've had a satisfying breakfast or lunch, whatever. Um, so the ones I'm going to make today are bacon and chive. Now I know that a lot of you are going, oh, bacon? on protein sparing, well, I'm going to qualify that. I'm going to use some of this bacon. If you haven't seen this at Costco, um, this, is, this bacon is awesome because they've rendered off all the fat already. So as an example, two pieces, two slices of bacon is six grams of fat. And I'm going to be using one slice um, in this recipe so uh, yeah, so it's going to, you know, it, it does add fat, yes, but it adds zero carbs and not very many calories and, because although they've already done the fat rendering and so this is very convenient. This is perfect for those times when you just have to have bacon, bacon emergencies. I, I have purse bacon. I have, I have been known to microwave a few of these before I leave the house. I stuff them in a little baggie, stuff them in my purse. And, you know, if I know that I'm not going to be around somewhere where I can get something that I need and they're perfect for that. I mean, I do, I, I take six of them along and that's a whole meal. So I'm, I've got one wrapped in this little piece of paper towel. I'm going to put this in the microwave for 20 seconds. Okay, so that's going to be in there. I've got my chives. And oh, I'm, I want to get this heated up. So for sous vide egg bites, I have found um, just in looking around and on my app on my phone, the one I told you about last time, it's the Jewel app, J-O-U-L-E. And it's a free app. It'll gives you all kinds of advice on doing sous vide. So I'm going to put this to 172 degrees. May as well do that now while we're preparing our veggies and bacon and stuff. Whoopsie, too far. And we're going to only go for an hour. Actually, I'm gonna go for an hour and 15 because I did my little ones at an hour. I'm gonna go for an hour and 15 minutes. And there we go. So we'll let that come up to temperature. What I didn't tell you is that I'm going to do a s two small batches. I'm going to do a small batch of savory, and that's the bacon and chive egg bites. And I'm going to do a small batch of sweet cinnamon and brown sugar. You will love that. Okay, so just going to grab my bacon. Okay, so there's my bacon. It's going to be nice and crisp now. So I'll just put that aside while I chop up some chive. So that means, so that means I'm going to do two jars, and, and this is like four of these little. That's salt. <laughs> it's like four of these little guys, um, because, like I said, I need two for a serving. So I'm just going to chop up a few chives with scissors. Is easy enough. These are fresh from my garden. I just got them a few minutes ago. So I'm gonna put them at the bottom. They will mix in once I pour my egg mixture in here. And I actually, I think I might need a few more. That doesn't look very... There, I can always add more on the top if it doesn't look like there's enough. 
And then I'm going to crumble up the bacon into small pieces. Put a little handful in each jar. So basically each of these jars has half a slice of bacon. And in the blender, I'm putting in two thirds of a cup of egg whites. And I'm going to put in one third of a cup of unsweetened coconut milk. Um, it does not smell or taste like coconuts, but that's just me. You can use unsweetened almond milk. Uh, you can use cream. If you're not doing protein sparing, use, use cream or uh, cream mixed with water. You know, just something. So I'm going to just uh, use my little personal blender here to mix this up. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot salt. We need some salt. This is Redmond's. Um, I would probably use about a quarter of a teaspoon or two big pinches here. You can add pepper too if you want. I, I don't. Okay, so I'm just going to blend this up. All right, so this is for my savory. I'm going to pour this in equally. All right, I've got my lids ready. These are just canning jars you can get at the store or on Amazon. Um, so when you're tightening them, you don't want to like, you know, put it really tight. Um, you want to Put it till you feel that it's snug and then just a little more, but don't put it as tight as you can. I read, this hasn't happened to me, but I read that if you do it too tight, you could cause um, the lid to pop off or the jar to crack or whatever. So we just want it closed, but no more. Okay, so those two are ready to go and I'm going to make my sweet one now. It is basically the same. It's going to have two thirds of a cup of egg white, one third a cup of the unsweetened coconut milk or almond milk or whatever you like. The macros of course will reflect what I used. Um, so you'd have to change them for whatever you're going to use. So in this one, I'm going to put in some of the this is a this is it says brown sugar swerve, but that's a lie. It's actually um, the the new brown sugar that I got because I used up all my swerve. It's that it's the bestie from Wholesome Yum. It has it's it's allulose monk fruit blend brown sugar. I I really like it. It's it might be the only thing I ever order from from them because I, they appear to be the only ones that have it. But it smells the most like brown sugar and it's got that really soft packing that it does. I just love it. Um, so I'm going to put in uh, two tablespoons of that brown sugar. I'll just pack, pack it in like that. And I have this uh, keto syrup. Uh, this one is cinnamon dolce, so I'm going to put in two tablespoons of that. If you have extract or drops or anything like that, go ahead and use it. You don't need to use this. Um, I, I just uh, have a few different flavors and now I need to get rid of them. So I'm, whoops, okay, that was a bit much. I'm trying to find different ways to use it up. I'm, I've been trying this in uh, protein sparing cake as well. So um, getting lots of interesting results, but um, okay. So we have our, our cinnamon dolce and our brown sugar in here. Go to the blender and blend this one up. I see things floating around in there. What is that? 
probably the, I think I have a couple of brown sugar lumps in there. Okay, so maybe it doesn't blend as well as the other one. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay, so these are ready to go. Now, I'm realizing now in hindsight that I probably should have made four little jars of the sweet one. Because it is actually, it comes out really rich and sweet. Um, but that's okay, I can spoon it into dessert dishes later. Considering that there's only egg whites in here and unsweetened coconut milk, the sous vide process really makes these things come out velvety smooth. I, I really like the effect. Just going to sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on top and just going to just sprinkle a little bit of the allulose brown sugar. Oh, there's my lids. Okay, so this is almost up there. It's not quite yet. Now, somebody asked me a question and I didn't know the answer, so I looked it up before I told them the answer, and I was a little bit surprised. Um, do you have to wait until this comes up to temperature before you put the jars in? And the answer, surprisingly to me, was, was you don't. It doesn't make that much difference. So I, kind, I don't know. Like I kind of think that it, it, for more precision cooking, you would want it to be at the exact temperature, cooking at the exact time. So apparently uh, what the article that I read said was that for longer cooks, it really doesn't matter. But if you are doing something very precision, you know, say you're cooking a thin piece of filleted fish or something like that, something that's going to be a quick cook, like 30 minutes or an hour, then it becomes more important to, to put it in when the temperature comes up to the target temperature. So uh, we're almost there. So I'm gonna start putting this in. So I'm using this little sling. This is just a silicone sling for the um, Instant Pot. Um, and it's really good if you're doing a cake in the Instant Pot or um, eggs, like boiled eggs, anything. So you can just, lift everything out and, and put it down. Uh, so what I'm appreciating about this is that it is flexible because we've got this thing taking up some room. Now, you could just lower them in with, uh, with tongs. Um, I don't really like doing that with these big jars though. So I'm going to put this in. Be careful because this is getting warm. It's up to 163 now. So I'm just gonna use my, my tongs to sort of uh, place it down as deep as I can. And since we're pretty close, to getting close, I'm going to start lowering in my jars. So there goes one. This is a six quart instant pot liner. You can definitely use a bigger um, pot if you have one. Uh, Wendy from Loving It on Keto, I saw her do these in a big crab pot that had like a wire basket. That was perfect. The wire basket can just come out. If you're using these little guys, you can actually stack them on top of each other. It doesn't matter if they go down below the water. We want, we actually want that. So I think I might have actually a little too much water in here because <laughs> I'm past my maximum, where it says maximum line on my wand. That's really close. So now we, uh, it's not quite up to temperature. That's okay, I feel pretty comfortable that it's not gonna make any difference. And we will come back when this has finished cooking, which would be about an hour as soon as it reaches the temperature. So we'll see you back then. All right, so our time is up and I'm going to pull these out. I'm putting on my silicone glove just in case I have to touch the hot water here or the hot jars. 
So let's see how this works. Actually, that looks a bit shaky. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just grab one of the jars. See, I'm glad I put the glove on. So there's one of the egg whites there. And the other one. Yeah, this, uh, okay, so the sling doesn't work that great for these tall jars. That is good to know. But this works well if you have to pull something out. Okay, it worked yesterday for the little jars, so I guess... These ones are going to be tippy. But that's okay. So we need a couple minutes for that to cool down but it's perfect timing because the Amazon truck came. And I need to show you a couple things here that I bought. So the first thing that I'm excited about is this. Um, Janet Greta made long johns on her YouTube channel. I'm gonna link that video below. And I was really wanting to make long johns I will make them in a couple of weeks. Um, and this is the pan that she used. I found it on her list of stuff from that link I'm going to link below. And that's the perfect size for long johns, hot dog buns, or mini baguettes. So thank you, Janet, for finding this great pan. Oh, what is still in there? Oh, you got a whole book. Oh my goodness, okay. But anyways, this is what I really wanted. So watch for some upcoming videos with that. And there was another one, which I haven't opened yet. 100% um, sure what it is, but I have a feeling I know. I, I swear, I order so many things that they know, they know my name now, and uh, there's like, it feels like there's somebody here every day dropping something off. So, I'm just gonna see what this one was. Oh yeah, okay, so. This, well that's much bigger than I thought it was going to be, but this is actually a good thing. This is for storing bread. Bread and buns. So this is this is the divider. So okay, so this this I ordered this because look at this over here. This is what I'm doing right now. I've got a bunch of plastic bags all over my counter. So let's just get these in there right now. So I no longer store my bread in the fridge. I used to store it in the fridge and I just found it gets soft and sticky and it, I mean, you know, these are three days old, I think. I mean, this this bread still smells great. It, I just, I just love, this is the Italian bread. If you haven't made the Italian bread yet, what are you waiting for? Oh, look at the, I see what this little divider is. Okay, and then these are some buns I made. Um, if you saw my last video, I forgot to spray the pan. And so I was tearing some of these buns out of that pan. Um, some of them came out okay. But anyways, there's my buns. And these are some heels that I'm saving uh, to make something, maybe bread pudding or something like that. So I'm gonna just leave these ones in the bag um, to keep them separate, but it'll just make my counter look a little more tidy. So I'm happy about that. So now onto our sous vide here. I'm going to show you the ones I made yesterday. Oh, they opened a lot easier when they were warm. Now that they're cold, I'm gonna have to use one of these guys. Okay. I wonder if warming them up a bit will make that easier to come off without wrecking the, well, these are supposed to be single 
use anyways. I don't really know how all the canning lit because I'm not, I don't do canning and that kind of thing. Um, so I don't really know how this all works. My intention was not to preserve anything, but just to have it in the fridge for the few days that until they're used up. So, okay, so here's the ones I made yesterday. That's what it looks like, but wait till you see how velvety it is. Look at that texture. I'm actually, I'll, I'll take a bite, sure. <laughs> Uh, even though I've already eaten breakfast, but mm. I already knew what they tasted like because I had them yesterday. Really good. So that will be part of my breakfast tomorrow. I already had some today. Um, they are really good. Like, and, and I love the jars to take to work. I can throw it in my lunch bag. But I, I like this better. It's a slightly bigger serving than this little teensy thing. So you, you can do either. So this is the sweet one. And I ran out of these little jars, so I was using some bigger jars. I wonder if it'll be the same thing I have to pot. Yeah. Okay, wait till you see this one. It looks like pudding, you guys. It's silky smooth and sweet. Because I did have a bite of one yesterday. Mm. It is shocking how velvety and silky that is. It, I mean, and oh, I have the macros for you. The macros will be the same for both. Um, except that this one doesn't have the bacon and the vegetables. So this one, the macros will be less fat than this one because most of the macros come from the egg whites and the coconut milk. So for, for this, for one jar, one double jar, it is 73 calories, 11.7 grams of protein, 2.3 grams of fat and of course uh, this one has the bacon so I will figure out the macros for the sweet one and list that below in the video note so I just didn't have time when when I was getting ready um, to end this video um, car total carbs 1.3 and net carbs 1.2 so there's a teensy bit of fiber in this one from the chives. So those are amazing macros um, for both for both the sweet and the savory. Um, this will so easily fit. I mean, you can eat this giant thing for dessert and it'll, it's gonna fit into your uh, protein sparing day. Dairy free um, and uh, really delicious you will be you will be surprised how yummy this one tastes so if you're not doing protein sparing and you are just keto um, you can add cheese to this you can use the whole eggs you can you can use cream instead of coconut milk for the milk part you can use almond milk or cashew milk or, or what you know whatever um, whatever milk that you're using that fits into your macros and whether or not you're you're dairy free so I think you know I hope I've showed you just how versatile the egg dishes can be in the sous vide yes you can make these sorts of things in muffin tins I have done that before and those are perfect grab-and-go breakfasts as well but you're not gonna get that velvety consistency it's like custard like a soft smooth custard so delicious so I uh, I hope you give it a try and let me know what kind of combinations of flavors uh, that you're going to make in in your sous vide egg bites and we will see you on the next video
insult. <laughs> it's weird talking with you not being here, but okay, what can I do with it? I just shoved it in the back and I shouldn't have. Cinnamon. I'm, whoops. Oh, that was a bit much. This is a six pot instant pot liner. A six pot? Six quart, did I say pot? This is a six quart instant pot liner. Oh. They opened a lot easier when they were warm. Now, I'll take a bite, sure. <laughs>